Welcome back to another video right here on Free Will Photos. Today, I have a really cool way of looking at the tones inside of your images and using a mask, uh, essentially, to pinpoint what tones you want to edit in your developed settings. So let's jump right into it. Now, as you can see, I have a few presets over here and there's some wonky colors between these two, but don't worry about that. I'm going to go with this preset right here. Now, when I click this preset, it's going to look like it didn't do anything. As you can see, I have my highlights, midtones or midtowns, because why not? And then shadows uh, already isolated. And all I have to do is click on whichever one I want to look at. So let's say I want to look at the highlights in this particular image because it's a pretty dark image. I'm going to make my brush really, really big. Make sure that your feather is down to zero because you want sharp edges. That way you can see where your borders are. And I'm just going to click all over this image. All right. What I'm really doing here is painting a mask all over the image. And so far, you only see effects in these really bright areas or what we call highlights. Uh, those are going to be tones if I turn this off because when you paint it does affect your uh, tone curve here or I'm sorry your histogram if you look in the histogram highlights live somewhere between here and here right this is where they live now this is a very dark image so there's not too many highlights and we can tell that by what's actually shown what we see here is we have a lot of shadow detail and we'll get to that here in a second. And we have a lot of good mid detail and we have some uh, blue in the mids and that's where the sky is coming in. So what I'm going to do is actually click on the mids. And this time I'm going to paint all over this image and we'll start to see more information come out. And most of this information that's, you know, the blues that are in the mids, we're seeing that in the sky and that's over here. And then we have some mid tones all over this mountain, things of that sort. All right. So there you have it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our shadows. So when I click on the shadow one, we should see a lot of shadow information. Yep. Wherever the blue stays, that means that their shadow information, which is the entire image essentially, which is why there was so much of a peak here. Now, again, when I paint with the brush, it changes the histogram. So you have to turn it off if you wanna see what's actually in the image, and then you can turn it back on to see the overlay. And as you can see, this is a very shadowy image. How am I getting this? Well, we have the midtones here, and if you, come down on your local adjustment there is a little icon that says paint with color if you check that bubble it disables all of your other settings and it gives you this little drop down box or color picker selector whatever you just choose a random color whatever color you want doesn't matter and then what you're going to do is come up to the gear icon and this is going to open up your blending options now as you can see here in the apply to, I hit the drop down, and for the midtones, I'm only applying this to my midtones. Now, by default, it's going to be set to all. If you have it set to all and you're looking at a big green screen, that's what is happening, all right? But I want to look at this only in my midtones. Now, you can also, if you want to get a little bit more fine tuned and really get into colors, you can look at uh, painting this into your greens your blues, your magentas, all of that, all right? Uh, yellows, and then there's fresh colors, which I'm not really concerned about any of that, all right? Midtones is what we're looking for because we have a slider for that. And I just wanna see what I am editing over here in the develop module when I have my midtones selected. So if I want to darken those or brighten those based off of the luminosity of the image. And as you can see, as I increase my midtones, my mask is starting to pick up more of those areas. So it's showing me what I'm really affecting when I bring up my midtones. 
All right. And if I bring down my midtones, you can see that I'm affecting less of the image because there's less information that I'm pushing into the midtones. All right. So hopefully this is a helpful way of showing you how to use the local adjustments inside of On One Photo Raw to develop your images a little bit better. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash the like button. And if you like to see tutorials just like this inside of All One Photo Raw, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can get notified. And until the next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating.